What's up, everybody? My name is Paul. And I'm Lou. We are Twin Sauce, and right now we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. To find a way out. <laughs> <laughs> Our Uber driver was an old electrician and he had decked out his car with all kinds of things. Like there was a Haunted Mansion button and if you pushed it, it played the theme for Haunted Mansion. And even like blue wind in your like hair, like I had like stuff. It was crazy. It was like a 3D experience. It was so, so funny. I feel like a high roller in Ocean's yeah. Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. I looked at their, I looked at their, uh, MGM Resorts curly quarterly earnings, and this resort brings in like a hundred million a month in revenue. Really? Yeah. This looks like they're shining. Yeah. It's ripples. Ripples. My best. This is so fancy. Fancy Nancy. <laughs> It's Lunar New Year, so all the hotels have Chinese decorations. So the Bellagio is the flagship property of MGM Resorts. And Caesars Palace is the flagship property of Caesars Entertainment. Wow. But although MGM Resorts is buying the Cosmopolitan, so they're saying that's gonna be their new flagship property. So like the like the high dollar high dollar gamblers, like the top gamblers. That's where they're gonna, you know, comp all their rooms or. Oh wow! You know. Yeah. I couldn't get tickets to see her. Eventually. Maybe I, someday. I didn't. I want to see her in London first before I see her in Vegas. Caesar's, the forum shops at Caesar's Palace yeah. and they have a show, an animatronic show, that's starting right now. Ah! So Disney has ruined me on animatronic shows. I like that show, it was really fun, but Disney's ruined me. Yeah, Disney is so much better at <laughs> animatronic shows than Vegas. What is that? At the wind. Some show comes out of the water, I guess. But it doesn't start until 6. And we have reservations down there. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That's what I call big money. Yeah, big money. Are you excited for the show? Yeah. Yeah. And the food? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just excited that I'm gonna get some Maine lobster. Yeah. Yo. That's some fish right seafood. there. Seafood. I like seafood. Yeah. Seafood. I got some chicken, which is like land food. Oh, look. And Luke got some fish. Yeah. Salmon. Yum. Yeah. Paul's gonna do the. Paul, what are you doing? 
I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna eat an oyster. Where's the, I didn't get where's it. the smallest? Yeah, give me the out. smallest one. <laughs> Paul's never had an oyster before. He didn't try it. No, I didn't try it when Luke tried it last time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, give it a go. I'm pretty scared. Okay. Wait, oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. You just kind of like. Just move it around so it like becomes loose. Yeah. And then you just and swallow it? You don't chew it? You can chew it. Right. I chewed it. I liked it. Just it's to muscly. Get the, to get the flavor. It's like snotty and muscly. <laughs> the ones we had last the ones we had last time were good. They were so good. Yeah. These are good. Yeah, that was good. Oh, I love the Glasgow. Yeah. That's good. I think so. Man, man, man. Yeah. 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 A giant frog. Yeah. yeah. Start spreading the news. Mr. Wind, turn down your lights. <laughs> the lighting is so nice right here. <laughs> yeah? Because Mr. Wind's lights are so so bright. Yes. Uh, Mr. Wind. Thank you, Mr. Wind. I want Mr. Wynn to give me that Rolex. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Wynn, give me that Rolex. Keep it on repeat. Just to find the potion. Love it, this to potion. Live it up, live it up, live it up, sweet emotion. Every time, every night, you and I count a roll. Switch it up, switch it up, switch it up, where I'm going. Stay on the fly, just in time, know the right way to go. Thing. 10 out of 10, best new uh, Perry show. Yeah, it was so good. It was so good. It's just so good. That's just all I can say about it. If you have a chance to see it, you should, but it's not here for very long. I know it's coming, it's supposed to come back in, in March, but yeah, see it if you can. She keeps selling, if she keeps selling tickets, she'll keep doing They'll the show. They'll keep doing the show, so yeah, there you go. All I want, all I want, all I want is satisfaction. Baby, you got nothing to lose. Give me that, give me that, give me Good that. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. It's actually afternoon. Yeah. We just woke up, but we're gonna go get some breakfast at In and Out Burger. And see my fountains. And see our yeah, we gotta see the fountains because we're close to the one o'clock show. So we're gonna go watch the Bellagio fountains. I'm so excited. If you want a healthy tip, a helpful tip, the Cheapest place to get drip coffee in Las Vegas is in and out. One seventy five. Yeah. Gonna make it right, little like an offer I can refuse. I'm on the road, it's my time. Taking control of my life. I want to run the red lights. I've got to run this show. You always take me so high. You always make the highlights. I love the way we fly up. You're like a Santa phone. filming TikToks in like the, I call it the downtown Disney off strip, strip uh, of Vegas. And uh, there's in and out here, there's like this giant, like right here thing. And so we were like, well, we separated from Matthew. They had to go do some deposit stuff with like some dollar bills or something. And so we're like, we're gonna come do some TikToks, do like something outside the Bellagio and here. And I had to go exchange my shirt because I got a medium and I wanted to get a small and I was like, whatever. And so we were in and out, here. please sponsor us. We're in making videos with your- in and out please sponsor us. But, so now we're gonna try to do a TikTok right in front of the In-N-Out store if we can find a trash can. I love Caesar's Palace. I like this whole like, Okay, I just love resorts and things. I think I, think I don't resort care about design is my favorite. I don't care about any of that stuff. I love walking through the resorts. The 
Rosedale Memorial Arch. Ah, my best! <laughs> Garden Tom while it counts as pennies. Money, money, money. Yeah. Must be honey. I don't know all the words. Living in a rich man's world. So basically what we're doing on this trip is resort hopping. So we just like jump around to different resorts. Uh, Tommy will just try out the casino. Um, and then uh, we go on to the next one. So right now we're headed on to, I don't know where we're going. MGM Grand. MGM Grand. Sorry. MGM Grand used to be Wizard of Oz themed, but then they ripped the Wizard of Oz theme out. Jeez. So now it's just themed around being green. Oh, okay. But... I think I like that then. In 1989, the Walt Disney Company built MGM Studios, and they signed a contract with MGM, so that way MGM wouldn't partner with anybody else to build theme parks. Then MGM built the MGM Grand, Grand, and then they built a theme park here in Las Vegas. So then that like made it all weird. Created a lot of tension. And in 1989, Steve Wynn opened the Mirage. And then in 1989, yeah. Walt Disney Animation Studios had their first big hit in a while called Little Mermaid. Well, might as well. Hey, you're doing way down the street. You're the best. <laughs> I love this. You this guys, is so cool. You guys like the themed resorts. Yeah, I like this one. A lot, a lot. This theming is literally off the charts insane. So cool. Oh gosh, look at this. That's a real handy way to travel between those resorts, though. What? Instead of walking like that. with the tram. That's cool. I love riding on trains of any kind. Don't you say so? I love trams. I, I love subways. I'd love a New York just because of the subway system. <laughs> yeah. I can't, wait. I can't wait to see the water show. <laughs> Me too. We're going to go see O. O. We got tickets for O tonight. At the Bellagio. That's where we're headed to right now. We got to go up to the room, drop off of this camera gear. And then we're gonna go see oh and now he's gonna go see KP on the ground floor. Let's check out this chocolate fountain. Jeez. Me after in and out. Yeah. I'm just at uh, a Rita Broadway show because check this theater out. Um, this is our first Cirque show ever, and this is like a dream. So. Woo! Okay, so I'm gonna give a little review of our of the Cirque show. You Here's already know we Here's loved it, but I have to, I do have to. Okay, well, well, I, I don't know no, 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 Time out. Welcome to our TED Talk, of course. But also, if you want to skip ahead because you don't want to hear us talk about shows, um, here's a timestamp. On another <laughs> note, that was incredible. I gotta be honest. This show, like technically, the skill, the the technical elements, like physically technical, as far as like the stage, um, the performers, the, the performers, what they can do, their skill, their unique talents that they the bring to the stage, the style of the show, the comedy in the, the show, costuming, yeah, which was incredible that they everything, so many costumes. So good, and this is off that room. I also don't even know, like at the end, they, they all came out to bow. I didn't realize I didn't there was realize that many. how many people there were because yeah. they're not all on stage at the same time. But there's specialty artists. One thing I really liked is that, like, even talent. that they're specialty artists, they were specialty artists that would literally be like characters. They weren't characters because the characters were all kind of their own people. Right. But then they would, like, 
just kind of run across stage with like fire batons, like the fire baton guy yeah. act. He would like midway through like a show, a scene would just like and then there was like bolt. a dancer in the back on the back, the like back bar yeah. just dancing, and you're like, oh, I forgot. You realize literally we're didn't there. know where to look because there was so much going on. I just tried to focus on whatever the main act was, yeah. and then if I did see, it, I'm I glad you did because else. I did some of that. But then I would look at, I was like trying to figure out where the ensemble was, how were they hiding, how were they breathing also, because they're underwater. You also, there was Paul so scuba divers. Like, I love how to, I love so figuring out how weird. it works. No, I gotta talk about the scuba At first, hours. I was like, those girls are holding their breath for like seven minutes. Like, so long. Like, so h- humanly long. impossible lengths of time. But That's was not humanly impossible. I know, seven minutes isn't. But, like, some of these people had to be under more it than that. A lot. They must be able to enter and exit also underneath the stage. I don't know if that's they possible, can. but I'm sure they, they can. have to be able to. Because they would come out of nowhere. Or sometimes, like there was one time I was one looked, time they brought up on the floor the scuba, the scuba divers, divers and they just like up, flopped around and then they like so went back under and then then we noticed after that then we noticed you could see some of the girls getting breath from these guys. Also, you know the lily pads of those those yes. girls with the hands that they move those. Those aren't on on. They're not. It didn't look like it looked like there was human people on the bottom just holding the poles and moving them when nobody was on them. It's yes. like when they were leaving. It's insane. Either way, literally the coolest. Thing I've ever seen. I've like got the ability to see a Cirque du Soleil show. Go. Any show. Go. It's the best hundred dollars so, I've ever spent in my life. So <laughs> incredible. And it was like, and the poor girl next to me, think of this. I think she was maybe like a young, maybe aspiring trapeze yeah, or something. Yeah, or but somebody. She, she knew. was freaking out about yeah. a contortionist, and so I didn't know she oh, was also maybe she was a contortionist. Maybe, but she was freaking out, and she was so know. quiet the whole time. Um, but then I was being obnoxious. Oh no! And at the end, I looked at her and I go, "I am so sorry that I was <laughs> talking." The whole time. She goes, no, 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 it's my first time seeing this show, too. I understand the sentiment. And then she, like, walked away. And I was yeah. like, thank you for understanding yeah. those. Oh I was gosh. a mess. No, but also, I think there's something that's different. Like, we have trained enough. In, like, I've never trained to be a, a, a circus but performer. But as a dancer. But as a dancer, yeah. I understand the, the, the skill it takes. And it's just like when you watch a soccer game, if you know soccer, you're way more impressed about the skill of someone playing soccer. Whereas if then, I watch soccer, I'm like, I'm okay. Like, yeah, they're they're kicking a ball. ball. Like, okay, cool. But, like, I don't know soccer. So, like... When I watched this show, I understand it. So there were sometimes when people were just not reacting to things. And I'm like, I'm like you, you have no idea dance. how incredible this is. <laughs> you don't even know. Thank you for coming to our TED Talk. And anyway, on for the rest of the vlog. On for the rest of the vlog. Oh, shoot. And I try to do it without your hands. And then pretend you're on a trapeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, Luke. She was doing that. But on a trapeze that was swinging. People do not understand how hard this that way, is. And I'm just like. <laughs> Y'all don't even understand. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I'm shook. I'm not even drunk right now. You're, he's just shook. We're going to go. Matthew's at a uh, play right now. Uh, at Katy Perry's play. He went a second night. And so. Um, we're gonna go meet up with him after the show, but our show actually got done when his show started, so. <laughs> we're gonna go. His show just. We actually, I probably might grab a second hoodie. Did you bring any other hoodies? Yep. It's kind of, it got cool last night. The Eiffel Tower from outside, the legs are in here, they're real. We're really supporting it. That's so cool. I gotta be honest, that's a cool show, but I think the Bellagio has a better show. It is fall! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> we went to Treasure Island, we met up with Matthew, and then he had this really cool play, uh, sweatshirt. Um, anyway, we uh, met up and we were gonna get these, like, slushies from this frog place, but it will stay unnamed because they were rude to us and told us they didn't know what we were talking about. So, rude. Rude. So now we're, we are protesting by going, walking all the way over to Taco Bell and getting slushies at Taco Bell instead. Taco Bell really blasted out. Yeah. Yeah. Day three, uh, we got up and we waited in line for egg slot. Thanks for who? Who, who recommended Lady this? Lady Luck recommended this. Lady Luck HQ on Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah. yeah.
salt. I like salt, salt, salt. <laughs> Stimulated. <laughs> There's so much going on. Ah, uh, scared. Wait, what is going on in this room? It has air conditioning. Uh, it's just a room. chill room. It's a break room, I think. I gotta be perfectly honest. I needed this room. I'm very overstimulated, <laughs> which is fun. But this one has air conditioning. It's quiet, chilling. Love it. Yo, that was fun. Area 51. Area 50, 15. That's what I meant to say out loud. Area 15. Area 15, that was fun. I'm uh, glad we did that. It's uh, It reminds me of the City Museum in St. Louis. Uh, St. Louis. But just less steel. But it's like, the, it's like the City Museum, but make it pretty. And also a convenient store. There is, I guess, a storyline that you can go through, like, and there's like a mystery that you're trying to uncover and the whole storyline. But we didn't do that because it didn't really intrigue me too much. But I, the, there is not. It's really pretty. It's cool. I wish you could take big cameras in there because it'd be a fun place to do a photo shoot. But yeah, no can do. Ain't no way. I love this. I'm so glad that we got to see one here. That was like one performed arm. by those water fountains. Yes. <laughs> what a fun, I love that number from a chorus line. It's my favorite. Yeah! yeah. We came to, Fre was yeah. it Fremont? Fre Fremont Street. Fremont Street. How was your first time gambling, Paul? You know, I lost pretty bad. But, ten, lost ten, $10. I just lost $10. That's okay, I'm gonna keep trying with the rest of my $10. See how I, how I gamble is I only bring 20 bucks to the game. And then I just play and then I'm so, it's my first time. But I only do 20 bucks because then I can only lose 20 bucks. Yeah. But Tommy has a different uh, philosophy and he's won a lot, so. Like a lot. Packed up. So I'm just on my phone. Well, we're flying. We're flying out. Yeah. It's not full day. Full day. But 
we're gonna go try to find Earl's sandwich because it's one of our favorite places to eat. <laughs> Yeah. Well, guys, it's been a good time. Maddie flies out like late tonight. Tommy flies out a couple hours. Hey, it's been Bye, Vegas. It's been fun. Yo, says right. Okay, bye. Don't take it. The entire Delta family, thank you for letting us be a part of your journey. We'd like to extend a special welcome to our semi-miles and medallion members.